Well, we are about to head off to the Caravan and Motor Home Club site at the Great Yarmouth Racecourse. We've got a weekend in the middle of a racetrack. So, I'll see you along the way.
slow.
that noise. In a sec. Oh, they've got a bean compound as well. So just by the exit here, you've got one of the chemical points in the dog bin. There isn't no specific dog walk on here, so we're just gonna take them out the front. But there's a tiny little office in the bin stores just to the right, and this is the entrance you saw us come in as we arrived. You've been really naughty. Any white peg pictures? Motorhome service point is just there. Any white? Oh, right. Yeah. Just not the ones to put the cross on. Yeah. are doing their delivery this morning. This is the only facilities block and the lay-by is the motorhome service point where we filled up with water. Last night there was a laundry and a washing up area in here as well. It's a nice big laundry and information room. I guess if you're on the back, we might see the horses going around tomorrow. Uh, yeah, that's true, yeah. Yeah. Want that one? And then we'll go and get some water in a minute. Yeah? Yeah. Oh, right, stop that now. I mean, just walk these first, yeah. Yeah. To get the card and then go around and get the water, yeah.
Good morning from Great Yarmouth. As you can tell, I'm absolutely full of a stinking cold. I think the symptoms of quite a chaotic week at work, a lot of time on the road, an offset inspection in one of my schools. So I think I've hit the lurgy. So I've just come out for a bit of fresh air this morning, as we are here in the middle of the race course at Great Yarmouth. So you can see all these pictures back onto the back straight here on the race course. And we're pitched just here. So you can see the stadium behind us, the other side of the campsite. So as you can see, they explicitly say you can't walk them on the grounds, but I am going to walk them down to the main entrance. There's the main stadium. So when you saw us arrive, you saw us come through this little gap here, through that gate. And this is what gets closed off on race day. And as you can see, we've had a heck of a lot of rain overnight, which started once we got here. So we've paid £60 for this weekend which I don't think is too bad um, we're not on a service pitch it is their race weekend so we'll see how much of that goes on today they're all set up around the race course but you do back onto it so hopefully if there's some races later we'll we'll get to see those horses going round and um, this took us about just under three hours from where we live to get here. Not a bad run actually along the A47. Um, no problems at Kings Lynn today, which makes a change. So yeah, good, good drive in. And then this blasted cold just kicked in as we got here. Honestly, it's meant to be summer. I really cannot believe how rainy this is for June, darling. How, how rainy this is for June, July. Well, we are home from Great Yarmouth and the reason I'm feeling particularly rough is I suspected this, having known there's been quite a bit of it going around in some of our localities where I've got schools. Um, well, basically, I did a test and yeah, this is COVID and it is one of the roughest experiences I've probably had since we had it back in 2020, 2021. Didn't quite think I'd be back here again. And this has given the roughest chest. Head is absolutely banging. So I'm afraid I didn't get to show you much more of the site while we were there. So I think it's a good excuse to return later in the year. But I hope you have enjoyed seeing what we did get to show you and our arrival at the site and we certainly will be back. Now a couple of things I didn't mention 
included the Wi-Fi signal there. We got to try out the motorhome Wi-Fi, which was great. Um, and EE and Vodafone were particularly good with their signal, a mix of 4G and 5G. So you'll have no issues with that. In terms of facilities nearby, there's a petrol station with a Londis just down the road. So if you need some basics like milk and bread and bits, um, that's just down the road. And there is a Tesco just a mile or so away in the car. The town is not too far away. There's a pub called the Avenue, just across the roundabout where you enter the site. So you've got some nearby facilities as well as the bars and restaurants that are on the race course itself. I'm going to leave it there. Thanks for joining us on this one. And we'll see you on our next adventure.